world famous Indian fashion designer Sabya Saji Mukherjee comes to Dubai yet again with his latest collection. You have made Oprah Winfrey, Vidya Bala, and Rani Mukherjee to many other Bollywood stars wear your clothes. So, is it that your forte is in dressing up fuller women? Size zero does not make a business, and it's very important for us to address all kinds of sizes. So, we have different kinds of girls from different body types. Whether it's a Kalki, who's a size zero, to a Deepika Padukone, to a Karishma or a Kish, uh, uh, Karina or to a Rani, or to a Vidya, or to an Aishwarya. They're all girls in different body types. And we have women, uh, you know, from starting from age 13 to age about 69, we have women of all different shapes and sizes, colors, and age groups who come and buy from us. What, according to you, is the perfect outfit to flatter your non-size zero body? Sari, because a sari is a very passive garment. If you put your mind actively to it, you can make a sari look anything from demure to very sexy. So I think you need to know how to work the sari on your body. So how big a market is Dubai for you? It's very big for us because otherwise we will be coming here year after year. Uh, a lot of the Indians buy from us but also a lot of the locals from Dubai buy from us. I think, uh, you know, when Dubai is exposed to the best in the world, if you can give them something that's truly outstanding, they become loyal customers. Right. Um, so what do you think about the fashion scene in Dubai considering there are a lot of takers for traditional Indian wear as well plus there are so many Western brands here as well? I think it's a very informed society. People here know how to choose and they know how to choose well because everything is available at their doorstep. I think what it does is uh, it makes them very conscious about what is the latest in fashion. But what Dubai lacks as a market is a very good comprehensive ethnic, cultural ethnic Indian wear which is a gap that we try to fill every year and that's why we have people who come in even two hours before the exhibition opens. So any plans of actually showcasing your stuff here, maybe have a flagship store here? You know, that's that's uh, we, we are implementing phase three of our business, phase four we'll definitely add a store in the wild. Right, uh, so what about this collection that you've got here? What is it all about? Of course, bridal is big and this is the season. Well, this collection is called Opium and it was uh, it was a Kutiawi collection. It's been inspired by 1920 Shanghai, Rangoon, a little bit of uh, Calcutta. And it's almost like French Renaissance uh, decadence meeting Italian Baroque meeting kinky naughtiness of Calcutta in the 1960s. How do you define your style when it comes to Western and differentiate yourself from the other designers that are there? I think what we do is we do in Western clothing with an Indian soul. What is very, very important with our Western clothing is that we do it with a strong Indian aesthetic. So there's always going to be this little slight kink or uh, tweak to Western clothing. Otherwise, one would just buy branded clothes from the racks. I, I think what we offer, which the people in the West can't offer, is definitely our potentials in printing, textiles and hand-in-washment. Ithaca, Emirates 24-7, Dubai.